Hey everybody, welcome back to Paper Mario! So today we're actually gonna go forward into the plot. Go ahead, open it. Hey hey hey. And it magically turns to sunset. From night. However that works. So Mario, we're on our way. Are you scared? Yep, Mario just jumped out of his boots. Also, Gusty Gulch has amazing music. Well, it gets better. Oh boy. Hyper Paragoomba. This is a Hyper Paragoomba. Hyper Paragoombas are Hyper Goombas with wings. Max HP 7, attack power 1, defense power 0. They sometimes charge their power before attacking. That charged attack will take away 8 HP, so watch out when they start to glow. It'll miss you if you can become transparent, though. Except for that, they're no different from normal Paragoombas, so just use a jump attack to defeat them. These guys are much worse than Goombas. Because they love to charge. Do, 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 do. Still need to tattle on Hyper Goombas by themselves. Tried to hit him with a hammer, but not quick enough. Only two experience points? Dang, that's terrible. Thank goodness I've got powerful party members. But man, only two star points per Hyper Goomba? That's not even really worth fighting them, considering they're some of the more dangerous enemies in this area. Darn it. Of course. Might as well tattle on him. This is a Hyper Goomba. Hyper Goombas are crazy, uncivilized Goombas living in Gusty Gulch. Max HP 7, attack power 1, defense power 0. Sometimes they charge their attacks before attacking. Well, seeing as they're all gonna charge, I'm guessing that's not gonna help out. Okay, none of them charged. Alright. If they all charge, I've got a plan. Cool, we're good. If they all charged, I would have just used Cooper's Power Shell move. Because I can change his Mario, and Cooper is free attack power now, so that would have worked. Wow, they normally, like, only charge. But dang, only six star points, not great. Still can't wait to get more BP, though, that will be really nice. Oh, Lady Bo, what a surprise seeing you! You know, your ladyship, you really shouldn't come around here. It's dangerous. Tubba Blubba could come here at any time. I know! I came just here to teach that Tubba Blubba a lesson. Bring him on! When was the last time he came through here? Why, just yesterday, lady. It was horrible. He, ugh, this time he, he ate Huber Herbert. Oh, it was gruesome. Poor Herbert, it was so dark and depressing. What a terrific boo. Oh no, not Herbert. Oh, Tubba Blubba, he must be stopped. Listen everyone, don't fear, we're on our way to defeat this Tubba Blubba once and for all. That monster has eaten his last boo meal. Oh lady, your bravery is inspiring, but you know why he's called the invincible Tubba Blubba. Please be careful, okay? He's a boo who lives here in Gusty Gulch. He's in love with Bo. If he can occasionally see Bo, his life is complete. 
When you come across Tubba Blubba, don't fight! He's invincible! Although, if somebody who claims to have no weaknesses must have at least one. If you could find it somehow. Psst, buddy, did you know you can walk slowly and stealthily by moving the control stick a little bit? You can use this technique to walk quietly and avoid waking sleeping people. That'll be very helpful in the next dungeon. You've got to watch out for when you fight Hyper Goombas that charge up their attack power and then unleash it. The best thing to do when they get charged up is to get out of sight with Lady Bo. I had a friend who escaped from Tabba Blubba's castle the other day, and he said, The key to solving the secret is inside the innermost room. Pay attention to both the heart and body, and don't. And then, just as he was finishing, Tubba Blubba ate him. I wonder what the rest of his message was. Interesting. Oh, hello. Boo, I guess. Poor effort. Sorry, I had a weird dream last night. This dream voice said, Sometimes you must turn and run away. You must run and run until you reach the tower with the spinning veins. Something like that, anyways. What can it mean? My friend escaped from Tubba Blubba's castle. He claims that Tubba Blubba hides something incredibly important right next to his bed. I wonder what it could be. Hello there. You're going to beat up Tubba Blubba, right? Yeah, get revenge. He'll never eat another ghost. Never. Especially not. Oh, oh no! Tubba Blubba's coming! Everyone hide! Lady Bo, you have to hide Mario! Mario, we have to hide! Use my power immediately! Press down C! Everything's cool, lady! He can't see you! Nope, there's no way Tubba Blubba can see you right now! Uh. Mmm, looks yummy! I needed a snack! Burp. A little tainy, but good. Oh, Stanley! Oh, the horror of it all! Stanley, no! Ah, why you two? It is harsh. Alright, more new enemies coming up. I think actually only one. This doofus. Clefts are back. This is a Hyper Cleft. Hyper Clefts have more defense power than normal Clefts. Max HP 4, attack power 3, defense power 3, dang! They say so they sometimes charge their power before attacking. That charged attack will take away 8 HP, so watch out when they start to glow. It'll miss if you can become transparent. Their defense power will fall to 1 if you use an explosion to flip them over. And in case you hadn't noticed, they have spikes up top. It'll hurt if you jump on them. Man, they're tougher than I remember. Yeah, about a power smash plus a regular smash will do the trick nicely. Alright. I've got quite a few item slots open, so I might as well get this. Oh, that's right! No, it's not paracarry time, it's Cooper time! Cooper goes a bit farther. Dizzy dial. Boom. Actually, I've already tattled on the Hyper Goombas. Darn it. Coin? Yes! Repel Gel! That might be the only ever Repel Gel we get in the game. And there's a letter to Feist T near uh, Forever Forest's entrance. Aw, oh, man. Uh-oh. Bad move. Okay, I didn't, did not expect that to happen. Man, I need more FP! Oh, I'm about to get more! <laughs> The star points do add up. Oh good, I have, I have room for one more power bomb left in me. 
They're all flying enemies. They are all flying enemies. Lovely. This seems like a pretty good time to use the dizzy dial, actually. And it's definitely time to show off bow in battle. I haven't done that yet. So when they're dizzy, they can't attack for a few turns. Oh, Dane! Ho ho! Now that's nice. Thank you for that. Alright, so yeah, I'll show you off smack. This will actually deal four damage. We have to push left repeatedly. I'm good at it. <laughs> so, like I've said, to enemies with only... With no defense, Bo's really good. Also, if you use the upgrade blocks to upgrade her, she will get more smacks. Luckily, there's an upgrade block coming up in the upcoming dungeon. <laughs> we will also show off out of sight eventually. It's like a Repel Gel, but better. Or, well, not better than Repel Gel, but you can use it more frequently. Alright, time for a BP level up. Let's see... Because the Fiend is BP, I could always just equip HP plus or FP plus. Okay. Oh, I still have Feeling Fine on? I don't want that on. Oh, dang. Okay, well, I'm equipping some stuff, let me tell you. Payoff? Sounds good. Pretty lucky. Oh, Zap Tap. Well, that won't be useful in the dungeon, because the enemies don't attack you directly. Quick Change could be nice. D-Down Pound could be nice. Hmm. There aren't any aerial enemies really coming up in the next area, so actually Power Bounce probably isn't going to come very much in handy. Maybe I should have done FB, darn. Ugh, this is a tough choice, actually. I definitely want payoff. Actually, first attack's not going to help me in this area. I'll do pretty lucky, that's a good enough one. And, uh... Oh, D down pound takes two? Forget that. I guess I will do first attack, and then... I forgot I still had feeling fine on. I don't need that. Ah, uh ah. -uh. No, no, no. Nope, nope. Alright, let's try this again. Darn it! There we go. Oh yeah, he turned upside down too. Excellent. Do 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 do. Well, might as well change the paracarry because we need him next. Thank you for doing that, actually. This will make it much easier to dispatch them. BP is really arguably the best, like, stat you can level up. Whoa! Those guys give a lot of even star points! Yeah, because of the payoff badge, now the, if I take damage in battle, I'm gonna get a lot more coins! Won't help against bosses or anything, but... Yay! Double coins! Actually, way more than double coins. Adam! Oh, fun! Okay. Well, looks like it's time for Power Bomb again. Oh, I should have upgraded FP last level up. Well, I can equip FP plus if I need to. I actually very well might do that because we use Power Bomb a lot in this dungeon. 
Super Shroom. Also, we are gonna get filthy rich. Ooh, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm making room for money, money. Money, money will make me a lot of well money. I don't really need power bounce, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, we are actually, I think, going to say goodbye to Speedy Spin, maybe? Nah, Power Smash, because Quake Hammer will help. Yeah. Oh, we are going to get so rich. <laughs> Wait till you see what we're going to get after battles now, especially if I take a lot of damage. Nope, not saving. Alright, what we want to do is get out Bow. Because welcome to Tubba Blubba's castle. So there are these guys. Wait, I thought I just unequipped Speedy Spin. Oh no, I unequipped Power Smash, that's right. Oh, these are my favorite enemies. Because they're asleep, you can sneak up on them nice and slow. And, yeah. Oh, they actually don't die immediately from that. Rats. I better get a Goombario to tattle on them. These are pretty much the only enemy you face in this dungeon. Actually, this might be literally the only en common enemy you face in this dungeon. I forget, it's been a while. This is a Clubba. Clubbas are the main guards of Tubba Bubba's castle. Max HP 8, attack power 3, defense power 0. They often sleep on the job. If you walk very slowly, they won't wake up. They may look big, but if you use the action command perfectly, they're not so tough. Take this, Clubba. Only two star points apiece? I get more from Hyper Clefts. Wow, he dropped a Super Shroom. Yeah, look at all that money. That was like more than twice the money I would normally get. Also, badge on the table, but there's nothing we can do. That trampoline will just make us hit the ceiling. I suppose I probably should have... Ow! That had more range than I thought. Oh, that's right, I can't actually use Power Bomb. Oops. I actually am going to show off Lullaby here. We haven't done that yet. Because these guys are extremely susceptible to Sleepy Sheep and Lullaby. Whoa, that guy in the middle actually did not... Wow, I am surprised. But yeah, they're asleep for a while now. Well... Need my money. Alright, well, because of my low FP, I probably should not have bombed that out, now should I? No! Wrong guy! I'm not used to having no alternate jumps. When you only have one jump, it just instantly says select enemy. Luckily, I'm sort of an expert with the action commands. Yeah, Lullaby is really good, and it is very rare that one that one guy actually did not fall asleep. I want to say they have close to an 80% chance of falling asleep because of Lullaby. Well, at least I go- Yeah, look at all that money! Look at that! It's obscene. Let's jump up here to get ourselves a nice star piece. Oh, uh-oh. Should not have bombed that out. Whoops. Psh, 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 psh. 
Anytime there are four clubbas, using Power Bomb is very good. Wah, 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 wah. Keep in mind, Bo is still level 1. And she's doing 4 points of damage, which is more than 3 of my party members who are uh, upgraded once will do. <laughs> I love Bo's victory dance, it's great. Man, I'm rolling in the door! Even just having money money on for a couple of battles will get you 100 coins. Okay, Mario, you gotta cooperate. Thank you. Oh, there's nothing in there. That's disappointing. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I love money money. It's so nice. Yay! We can use Power Bomb. Oh boy. Sleeping Clubba. Perfect time for Bomb Man. Thanks for the money, dude. I really appreciate it. Whoop. Hi. He can't go upstairs, which is nice. Okay, I'm, I'm getting so much money, it's causing slowdown. Look at that! I have like 260 coins now. I entered this dungeon with like 100. And we get the castle key. It opens a locked door and tumble above this castle. That's nice. Oh, it's you. Oh, you're Mario. Nice place, huh? As a matter of fact, I came to this castle with my friends to try to find Tumble Bubba's weak point. We managed to find out that there's something important hidden in Tumble Bubba's room on the highest floor. But once I got separated from my friends, I just had to hide. But you could go. First, you need to get to the uppermost floor, and then keep going until you find his room. If you happen to run into Tumble Bubba, I don't, I repeat, don't fight with him. He's invincible, really. Until you find out his secret weakness, you better just run away. You got that? Yes. Heart block. And upgrade block. This is why I did not upgrade Bow in the Totem Tunnels. I did not want to have to come back to this upgrade block. And now Bow is super rank ranked. She hit, uh, now has five slaps. If those guys catch you, they'll take you back to the start of the... Actually? Well, no, there might be more stuff up here that I haven't gotten. But yeah, they're basically like the wall masters of Paper Mario. Whee! We can't get that star piece just yet. Also, if you have speedy spin, you can actually outrun these guys. Which is funny. Yeah, clubbas are literally the only enemy you find in this dungeon. Oh, not so tough now. Let's power bomb the heck out of these guys now that we've got the FP for it. Take that, dude. Take this, other dude. Wah! Oh, look at all this money! This is a new Super Mario Brothers 2. Ooh, and another power bomb opportunity. I love this. And I love you, Damage Dodge Badge. It's because of you that I'm taking less damage. 
I wonder, does money money activate before payoff? Or? So is it like, you get double the coins, and then depending on your damage, you get a few extra. Or is it like, you get a few extra coins, and then we're doubling that with money money. Uh-oh. Well, hey, I'm not gonna argue with that. <laughs> and I'm not arguing with this either. <laughs> Watch the fun. Boom! <gasps> yes! <laughs> Double star points is my favorite. And you'll notice the spell still has not, like, worn off. That's because I bought the special, of course. Also, I'm gonna buy, like, every shop at, or <laughs> every shop! I'm gonna buy every... Uh-oh! Uh-oh! I'm going to buy every badge in Rolf's badge shop. You're no match for speedy spin. We are on the second floor now. Whoopee! Oh, this is gonna be great. There's actually a cracked wall behind this guy. Which means, watch carefully. Did you see the wall blow up behind him? I hope so. It was quite entertaining. I love this game! If, if, it's, if you haven't told... If you can't tell by now, I love this game so much. There are hardly any bad things about this game, it's just masterfully done. Alright. So first, if you destroy this... We can now take the trampoline up to the second floor as a nice shortcut. Breaking this does nothing. But if we break this one... And surprise, surprise! We can use Paracarry. And get the Defense Down Jump Badge! Disables an enemy's defense power and causes some damage. Not that we'll probably ever use it, but it's still nice to have. I need some FP, and unfortunately I don't have, like, any FP restore- Oh! Oh wait, no, I'm not using an item. I'm using Refresh. Here you go, Mario. I thought I'd refresh you a little bit. I did it for the FP, not so much the HP. Alright, time for everyone's favorite bob -omb. Literally everyone's favorite. She's so cute. Alright. First off, Quake Hammer. Quake Hammer's just so indispensable. And so is Power Bob! <laughs> The saddest- Yeah, again? Yes! I love Merlovely! <laughs> I love this spell! Look at that! That is great. Now, as much as I'd love to get more BP, actually, kind of debating it just to use the FP plus badge. Yeah, I mean, you might as well. I know that seems dumb, but I mean, I can unequip it at any time, so it's actually kind of nice. Oh, that's right, this room is interesting. Of course, Speedy Spin has, helps out a lot in that regard, and we get the castle key. Ow. Well, that's one way to get back. Got a little too, um... Greedy with the speedy spin. First, we're gonna fall down here so we can get the star piece on the table. And good thing we've got the trampoline shortcut. 
And all the enemies are dead. So this castle is very empty when all like a very empty feeling when there are no clubbers around. Oh, and this is what happens if you get caught by that guy. Apparently I couldn't outrun that one. These fiends will try to catch us and throw us out. Use my ability to turn invisible and we'll fool them. Yeah, we will. This episode might go a little longer than a half hour, but that's alright. I can cut out a lot of these battles. Okay, you need like two and a half spins to escape. Oh, hey, the guys are still dead? Like, the clubbers haven't regrown yet? Alright. Don't try to outrun that one. Rude Awakening. Actually, you know, because it didn't give me the extra 5 FP by equipping that badge? Which makes sense, so you can't exploit it. What? They only give me one star point apiece now? Oh man, they're like hardly even... No, they're worth fighting just for the money alone. We can move that clock out of the way. Oh, this room is actually pretty cool. We can tap A there. Get on here. Fly on the bed. Now we get some money, but also, not often noted, we can jump up here. Secret passageway. Gives us the Mega Rush Badge. When Mario is in peril, his attack power goes up by four. So, if you got one HP, that's great! But, then again, if you're at one HP, you're probably desperately trying to heal yourself. So, actually less great than you might think. Ooh, maple syrup. Yes. Thank you. I really should eat more of my items instead of using refresh, because then I get the refund, and they're just taking up space anyways. Oh! Actually, no. Not Bo. Goombario. Mmm, what's this? <laughs> I smell something very fishy. That's not the right voice. He needs to be deeper. Hey, dude. <laughs> I, wa I want to tattle on him. This is Tubba Blubba. He's one of Bowser's toughest followers and the master of this cursed castle. Max HP 10, attack power 4, defense power question mark? and hip attack power is 6. I don't know his defense power, everyone says he's invincible because he's never been hurt. I'd say it's a good idea to run away from immortal enemies, but if you get in deep trouble, Bo can hide you from him. So yeah, they are not joking around, actually do run away from him. Oh, thank goodness for that. Oh yeah! Alright, well, we need to get out Bo for this. So he's gonna look around, move past this like that, and we can spin to get away from him and go up here. Yeah, these guys aren't even worth fighting anymore. If they only give out one star point per clubba. Okay, we get the curse key. <laughs> I love doing that. Alright, now we can go through here. And that is where we're going to leave the episode off for today. Thank you for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. You're going to want to tune in for the next episode, because we will actually be fighting Tubba Blubba. And clear this forest, go back to Toe Town and start it on the fourth area probably. Have a great day, and God bless.